Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you the rinse pods for the K-Cup side on this K-Duo from Keurig. Now I just did a video on brewing a tea. These teas are very strong. And I recommend at least doing a flush. So I just brewed the tea. And see I cut the K-Cup open. And those tea, that's just a really strong flavored tea. So after you do these really strong teas or even maybe a really strong coffee that somebody doesn't like or if somebody does a coffee before you want to do a tea, you'll taste that coffee in your tea. So in this Keurig, even though I took the K-cup K -cup out, um, there's still going to be a little bit of residual of that tea. Now you can do just a simple rinse of water. So we just brewed our tea. I took the K-cup out. Now I'm going to come over here and let's just do a rinse. And I want to show you. Let's do a 10 ounce rinse. I want to show you that that water does not come out crystal clear. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it from the leftover tea residue. So this would be a rinse. This, this is the least that you should do after doing a strong tea. So I'm going to taste this. Oh yeah. I can smell the tea in this water and taste the tea in this water. So you could do another rinse, but Keurig does sell these, these, these um, rinse pods. And this is mainly what they're for. After a really strong drink, it's for cleaning the machine out up here after the strong drink. So on the box, it says better tasting coffee, reduces flavor and carryover between brews. And they want you to use it weekly or after brewing flavored beverages for best results. So it says it re removes oils from your coffee maker. So you can see, even though I did a rinse, there's still maybe some oils left over or some of that tea. It's kind of hard to tell. But we're going to, and the directions are, these are just normal. I mean, it looks just like a K-cup. So we're going to put it in there like a K-cup. But it says, we're going to do an 8 ounce, 8 ounce brew. But here's the catch. So even after we do this rinse pod, we got to do another uh, water rinse. So you're going to be using a lot of water through your Keurig machine. But let's give this a try and see what it's about. And I did read, there's the ingredients. I'm not even sure what that is. But I did cut one open. You don't get much of whatever this is. It's kind of like a white powder. You know, there's not much, you know, there's, there's not much in there. That's all that's in there. Okay, so let's put the K-cup in. I'm going to close it. We're going to hit the K-cup K -cup button, and we're going to do the 8-ounce. And then we're going to watch it brew. Okay, so it kind of foams up. It's got like a seltzer sound to it. And you definitely don't want to drink this. I just want to smell it. <laughs> it has no smell to it whatsoever. So I'm going to throw that out. But that's what a rinse pod does. It looks perfectly clear. And if we come up here, we're just going to take the rinse pod out. It poked a hole in the bottom. You know, there's nothing left in there. So you would definitely want to recycle these. I've got another video on how to recycle kickups. So this was just a quick video after you do a strong tea or a strong different kind of coffee. Um, you can do rinses. Oh, we got to do one more thing. Okay, so that's the uh, rinse. We got to do another, we got to do a water rinse now. Now I took, I took the K-cup out. 
We're going to put the lid down. We're going to hit K-cup. And we're just going to do an 8 ounce water rinse. That's supposed to take the... the um, in case the rinse pod has anything left over, it rinses the rinse pod. Okay, so now we, we're done. We've, we've done a final rinse. And now the K-cup side is ready for uh, whatever type of K-cup you want to put in there. Again, this is just a dad. This was a video on kind of when and how to use the rinse pods on this Keurig K-Duo. If you got any questions, please leave your comments down below. I check them on a daily basis. Thanks everyone for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.